Hello there, fellow space captains. This is Connor, and welcome back to another Dreadnought ship overview. And we're going to be looking at a ship that I've been playing for quite a while now, but I've only just actually remembered that I haven't done an overview for it yet, which is the Tier 3 Jupiter Arms Artillery Cruiser. The Ballista, he says, with um, no certainty whatsoever. Ah, yes, it is isn't. It is indeed the Ballista, because, um, well, the Tier 4 is the Onager. And um, I just call this thing the Kitsuna, because it's the Kitsuna to me. The uh, main reason for that being because we're a... Uh, I have a Space Fox decal, and does not look pretty. It's one of the nicer looking decals, so to the artist who did that, mighty fine job. Looks uh, pretty nice. Like the Katanas, the um, Rose Petals, or the Cherry Blossom Petals. And the fox. Awesome. Two-tone, um, what do you call it, pattern camo style with the dragon blue coating or paint scheme. Pretty damn nice. So as usual with this ship, I'll go over its actual lo uh, loadout, its modules, its abilities. And just how it looks visually or aesthetically. And it is one of the nicer looking ship designs in the game. I don't just mean, you know, per tier. I actually mean overall one of the nicer ship designs, whether it's the Ballista, as you can see here, whether it be the Onager, the Onager looks really, really nice. I love the jewel bridge design there, or even the Granada. That is, that is just a heavily armored beast, doesn't it? Look at it. I especially like the bridge design on that. Reminds me of a Star Destroyer quite a bit. In fact, I believe there is a Star Destroyer variant, or I think it's smaller, somewhere around the um, cruiser or frigate line that has a similar bridge to that. But, uh, alas, I'm getting off subject. So, back to the hangar. On to the Ballista. And we're going to have... Oh my god. Look at all these interceptors and bombers and stuff flying overhead. That is cool. But where is my Kitsune? Kitsune! Where are you? Kitsune being Japanese for fox. Aren't they edgy? Oh yes, I'm one of those weeaboos. Believe it. That being a phrase from Naruto, if, you, if you're if you not a weeaboo yourself. Anyway, here we are. Her sexy self. So, the Ballista is a, a two-shot artillery cruiser. And it's very good at what it does, which is pounding enemies little by little until they're dead so pretty damn cool so what i'm going to do here is just pick my optimal loadout while talking through what's available and we'll get to a game where we can try and just make someone's day horrible ruin their entire day so the main armament and weapon for the ballista on the jupiter arms artillery class of um, sniper or artillery cruiser is the heavy particle cannon now of course the higher in the tier or through the um, tactry you get, the more powerful said weapon will become, obviously. So here we have the Heavy Particle Cannon Mark III. Average DPS is 1780, which is quite a lot. Um, not on its own, but it does fire twice. Okay, so it fires in two shots in quick succession. So it's like, fire, fire, or doom, doom. Pretty damn awesome. Max range is 7000 meters, so it has decent range on it. The rate of fire is... <laughs> You don't fire many, but 13 shots per minute there. When compared to a ship like the Silesia, or the Oberon artillery cruiser, it's nothing at all similar. But then again, where the Silesia class has speed, this thing has power. And a lot of the times, power is more important than speed. Uh, but um, yeah, average DPS, 1780. Damage per shot is 8,000. Projectile speed is whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to go into math. It burns my brain. Sockets to their core. Reload time, 4.5 seconds. Clip size, 1. Which is a lie, it has 2. But you'll soon see that. In fact, I've heard uh, some of the PS4 players say that they only get one shot per clip or magazine. That's worrying me now if they have... You know, I think there was a recent update. I'm wondering if that has knocked it down to one shot. I don't know, but um, we'll see anyway when we get into the game. It doesn't really make much of a difference. This is the biggest 
and slowest of all the artillery cruisers in the game. Uh, I'll just show you guys, just so you know what I'm talking about when it comes to Akula Vector and Oberon. This is the Akula Vector design of artillery cruiser, the Svarog. It's more similar in weapon and attack type to the Ballista, but it's uh, smaller, as you can see, light, more lightly armoured, and it can get about faster. But the fastest artillery cruiser in the game, I believe, is the Nox class, which you can see here, being in the Oberon artillery cruiser of choice. And it's very sleek, very nice, very Oberon in its design. It looks more alien than anything man-made. But um, regardless, it still looks pretty damn awesome. So we're going to go back to the Ballista and check out her loadout. So yeah, heavy particle turrets, already went over that, or heavy particle cannon, in fact. It's not turreted by any means. But uh, yeah, the next loadout I have here are the Fleck turrets, Mark III. So they have our Fleck turrets, you know what they are. They're not normal Fleck turrets or heavies, so they do, they do less damage, but they do have a higher rate of fire. And they've got a clip size of 10, 2.5 second reload, and they've got a max range of 700. The DPS and whatever else you can look at there yourself if you're into the math and all the little statistics and things like that. But I, myself, am not. Right, where are we here? Now, you do have a choice of three different major attack modules. In fact, let me just double check to make sure that's correct. Siege mode, catapult, rapid fire. Yep. So, what I go for is bomb catapult. I have be been playing uh, a few games with the siege mode and the rapid fire mode. They, they just don't feel worth it, to be fair. Uh, bomb catapult is just better overall, I think, for the ballista class or the granada class. Just because it does such a massive amount of damage per hit. Rapid fire doesn't really improve it that significantly. And Siege Mode doesn't really... I don't think it's worth it. But, Bomb Catapult, I do like. I've had more success with the Bomb Catapult over these other two module choices. Your experience may differ. That's the joy of so many people being able to play this. People have different um, games, different success, with different abilities and modules. But me, Bomb Catapult is my go-to lady. Next... We have the choice between Flechette Missiles or Stasis Missiles. To be honest, I'm not sure which one of these to go with yet. I have been trying out the Flechettes recently. They do okay. Uh, they are only really good when the enemy is close up. Similar to like a, you know, a Corvette closing in on you pretty quickly. Um, but as an actual sniper, I prefer having the Stasis Missile. Because it does have quite a good range of 13,000 meters. Uh, which of course means that you can fire this at um, an enemy artillery cruiser. Get them in the stasis snare. And then begin to fire at them while they're snared. Um, they'll be snared for 8 seconds. Cooldown of the ability itself is 45 seconds. Two missiles are fired. And the movement reduction is 85%. And they do a small bit of damage of 1,000. So not that much. But it's better to have something rather than nothing. And... Yeah, I mean, going with how much success I've had in games with this ship, I've had more success with the Stasis missiles rather than the Flechettes. Because any good Corvette pilot worth their salt is going to know how to pretty much and easily get away from any missile variety in the game. Whether it be Flechettes or even Storms, which are the scariest weapon in the game, in my opinion. But um, yeah, there's the stats of the Flechettes, 8,400 max damage. Number of missiles 24, cooldown 35 seconds, so a 10 second reduced cooldown for these, and the max range of 2400 meters, which again is pretty close quarters, which you don't really want to be in an artillery cruiser, so play smart, try and keep your distance. This is not the Silesia class, so you don't have the maneuverability or the turreted main cannons to. Uh, attack corvettes with so you need to be really careful a lot of the times Like flak turrets may drive them off, but not kill them. They're pretty Lackluster when it comes to flax, but better than nothing Next we have the disruptor pulse which disrupts enemy module usage And you can choose between this or the light auto guns. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing else there might be actually yeah, there are 
So, oh yes, and sorry, for the actual missile systems here that are in place, you can get the drain missile, which drains uh, energy from the enemy ship. So, self-explanatory. And for the utility side of things, you can get anti-missile lasers or anti-nuke lasers. I'm just going to go with um, Disruptor Pulse uh, over Light Auto Guns or the two anti-missile nuke systems so yeah back to the ship mainly because i find in this type of ship you're attacked a lot by enemy corvettes and this does kind of ruin their attack run ideas and plans if you do pull it off in time so it doesn't do much damage whatsoever 250 uh, it disrupts our module usage by eight seconds which is way more than enough time for you to take them down with your flax of their staying within range but more than enough time for them to actually kill you as well so, take that into consideration. Maybe save some energy for your shields, just for that type of um, situation actually cropping up. Radius is 800 meters, so pretty damn close quarters uh, again. And the cooldown is 70 seconds, so use this thing only when you need to, or you know you're going to get a definite impact on the enemy ship. And it will serve you well. Light auto guns are here. They are good for doing damage to anything in close uh, proximity, but... I think the Disruptor Pulse has saved me a lot more than the Light Auto Guns ever have. So I'll be sticking to the Disruptor Pulse Mark III. And finally, we've got the Dive Maneuver Mark III. You do have two options to go with two cloaking systems. Either a mobile cloak, which isn't as good as the stationary cloak. But Dive Maneuver has saved me more than either of these two have. If you're an enemy artillery cruiser, which is the main reason you're going to want either one of these, if you're fighting against them, any, again, any artillery cruiser worth their salt is going to know exactly who is stealth and who isn't. Who's using camo and who isn't. Or a cloak system even. Because it, it just you just appear like a, a clear jelly. You're really, really not that hard to see. Even with the uh, cloak quality being high, whenever you shoot and fire, it gives away your position. So, again, not that good. And this relies on you just com staying completely still. And stationary as the name would suggest because if you move even slightly it breaks the cloak so if you're turning to aim it'll break your cloak if you're lowering yourself or raising your altitude it'll break your cloak move forward ever so slightly break your cloak so personally i'm going with the dive maneuver because it has saved me from quite a few enemy corvettes and that's always the best part of playing as an artillery cruiser when you can get the one up on a corvette that thinks they're going to get a kill on you. An easy kill. And you turn the tables. Uh, officer briefings. You can read their little explanation really quickly. They're just the 101 basic uh, officer briefings. These are going to be changed out in future, I believe, with uh, different officers. Actual named characters and uh, captains, that type of thing. So that's going to be interesting to see. Similar, how to its, similar to how it's done in Fractured Space. So that's going to be cool. And that's all there can be said. Let's jump into a game and see what trouble we can rack up. Oh, damn it. Anyway, let's find a game. Okay, so what have we got? Team Elimination on Exion. So that can be good and bad. Mainly because um, in, 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 in elimination, you only get one life per round. Which can either be awesome if the enemy team aren't up to the task of taking you out. Or pretty bad if they have even a modicum of awareness in the actual game itself. On the ship they're playing. But let's hope we'll do well here. And let's hope the enemy team aren't just all going to fucking tactical cruisers. Because that would be annoying. And absolute and complete green beams of bullshit. But here we are. Action stations. Action stations. Multiple Raven contacts. Enemy ships inbound. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Hold on. Kira Yu. 
Neat, you have fun playing Team Elimination. It's a shit mode anyway, so you're just going to leave your team screwed, really. Or has he left? I think he's left. Oh, well. It's better a person like that wouldn't be in the game. Somebody's already a fighter. Oi! Oi! Okay, disruptor pulse for that little kid if he comes around for another attack run. Is he? Come closer, my little friend. Come closer. I didn't get him, but those Teslas did. <laughs> oh, good old Teslas. Okay, so where are we? Am I the only sniper? I actually am. Um, awesome. Okay, so they've got another Monarch class. By Monarch class, it could be. I'm just thinking here. Is it, it's probably the Jutland from the looks of it. Right, I'm gonna put power the engines here and get slightly out of sight. No, not, not power the weapons, goddammit. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Power to engines and get into an attack position. Storm catapults out. They all seem to be moving in that location. So target the is the Smee Kula Vector Dreadnought. So they got one oh crap. We've got an enemy sniper. Where's that destroyer going? Dude, what are you doing? Keep him covered, no he's dead. What was he what was his plan? Where's that artillery cruiser? Because he's worrying me. Oh, what's another? Ballista. Is he in range? He is not, no. See if that stasis flies into that uh, good stuff. Right. If we don't take out their tactical, this is um, a loss. So I'm going to try and do something pretty ballsy here. So I apologize if it doesn't work. But I don't want to be playing Gears of War when I'm supposed to be playing Dreadnought. Not the fastest ship you'll even notice just with powered engines. It's still not that fast. But what do you expect? It's um, a mobile artillery piece. Or mobile, I suppose. Ever so mobile. It just about earns that title. I'm going to try and... Ambush this enemy artillery cruiser. Come on. There we go. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Come on, bomb catapult. Firing catapult. Come on. Launch Stasis missile. Warhead. There we go. Stuff is good. He's done. That got him. <laughs> 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 oh, that was a lot easier than they thought it was going to be. Oh, who's 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 locked in my position now, huh? Oh, it's just uh, I think it might just. Be oh, he is actually doing some damage. Let's move forward here, try and take out that other enemy artillery cruiser. God, would you just leave me alone? Why, hello there, little friend. Come on, land, land, land. We are taking heavy damage. Need immediate assistance. Did it get him? I haven't. Enemy warheads lap in our position. I am so annoyed by how those missiles are so slow on the mark. Launching catapult. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Got him. On the move, no less. I can't even aim high enough to take this little guy out. He is not seriously going to take me out, is he? No, no, not today. Power up, shields. Oh, these guys are going to take me out. <laughs> Come on. Ah, no, I was taking out my fighters and bombers. Well played, guys, well played. All 
Oh well. They deserve that. Working as a team, which is actually very rare. How's our guys doing? We've got two left. They have um four. Both of their tacticals are still up. And I was taken out in the crossfire. <laughs> Legendary. There's just two of us left, Captain. Two of us left? What do you mean? I'm not even in the match anymore. Well, I uh, I do have a presence in the form of a small, smaller fighter craft. But apart from that, no, I don't. Where is the tacticals? All hands, abandon ship. Report to emergency. Destroyed in the crossfire once again. Well, that's a trident. Does so his nukes work? I wonder. Yeah, that's a jolt one, definitely. Awesome. It was a loss, but it was a good match nonetheless. Very tense, it was. And I, um,. I'm hoping my team doesn't all resort to tacticals. Just giving a little bit of um, team strategy here. Guys, don't pick any healers. And remember, guys, make sure you protect our healers. Contradiction nation. One, two. Just two, good stuff. But you know what? Let's go the long way. That amber seemed to work until their lighter strike craft took me out. Well, we've got a Corvette doing the same. What is he in? Cool of actor Corvette of some description. Not too familiar with their names. Okay, energy is full. Power the engines. See if we can get a grasp on where the enemy are. I didn't fully utilize the bomb catapults last time either, which is something I should point out. I was kind of going um, artillery hunter, sniper hunter in that round. But now, whenever they're clustered, it's a far better use. Oh. Stasis warheads targeting the enemy ship. Need support fire at these coordinates. Launching. See, look at that damage. Warhead. I want to keep myself out of sight, at least for the moment. Keep low. Try to find that enemy tactical. Ravana, who's Ravana? One of our Corvettes took somebody out. Got an enemy contact. Hi, Captain. Engaging. Come on. Oh, no, he's not going to die. Not with the healer on him. Switch to plan B. Oh, destroyer sees me. Enemy warheads locked on our position. Stasis warhead locked in at the ready. Come on. Come on. Ah, shit. That is how these plans feel, kids. Not watching the minimap and trying to see where the enemy actually are, position wise. It was more concentrating on looking visually at the actual gameplay and seeing where they were rather than the actual minimap. If I was looking at the minimap, I would have seen them. So, doesn't matter. We'll have another game after this just to see if we can get some decent kills, possibly an onslaught or just team deathmatch. But I'm really enjoying artillery cruiser gameplay on Elimination. The reason I like Elimination is because you tend to think a lot more about what you're going to do. Because you only get one life per round. So it's a lot more important on what role you do take in the battle. Enemy 
Wow, 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 okay. Okay, there's just cleaning up. Look at him. Is he solo healing? He is, yeah, because, um. How the fuck did I die there? Well, he had some sort of hellfire point defense enabled. Yeah, let's switch to a tactical bomber. Or you know what, let's switch to a missile defense so we can support the team more than just deal damage. Is our tactical still up? Yeah. Then again, and that uh, will probably be a loss, yeah. Their tacticals are just far better. Well, that's a nice, that's a nice dreadnought. Look at the hangers on the, or the runways on the wings. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want one of these. Although the next ship I'm going for is the Onager. So we'll get this eventually. A bomber this time. Drop him some bombs. Because we is the bomb. He's trying to escape, but he's got himself caught on that structure. <laughs> oh, damn. Come on, I want to get back in. There is my bomber. Deus Ex pulling some sort of flanking maneuver there. Yep. More than likely going after their tactical. Bombs away. Impact momentarily. No impact. Don't know why. They look like they were right on target. Firing, don't let him heal up naturally. If he's getting any heals, it's going to be from that tactical. And yes, he's covering himself from bomber attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slowly but surely, we'll get there in the end. There we are. Now, where's that tactical? Look at the map. Down below. Okay. Oh, hold on. I think he might be coming out for a wee peek. Did I get him? Damn it. I didn't. Switching back to the interceptor. We've got three allies left. Focus the tactical. Come on. What, what is killing me? Silver Surfer? Who's Silver Surfer? Is that Dreadnought still? Morning start looks like. Yeah, I think it's a morning start. Or is it? Can't tell. Missiles away. No hit. Seriously? Where is that? Hi. Why do they not just focus on this guy here? Did we not have a Dreadnought, or not even a Dreadnought, a destroyer that flanked around from behind? Why did he not go directly for this guy? Take out the little beacon. 
I don't think we're going to do it. Call me a narcissist, but I just don't think we're going to be able to do it. Narcissist? Pessimist? What am I talking about? Nothing we can do. It's over. Yep, definitely over. I'd like to think that everyone watching this knows to go straight for the enemy tacticals if they're causing a problem. Mainly healing their allies and keeping them alive, making it very, very difficult for you and your team to actually destroy any ships on the enemy team. Always go for the tacticals. If you're in a corvette, that is your main job. If you're in a sniper and you can see a tactical, that is your main job. Dreadnought, push the line, help your team get forward enough for those ships on your team, like a destroyer, to be able to fire at an enemy tactical. Use your brain. Both healers got the most XP there, of course. I think uh, Dr. Hellfire was also a tactical, but look, people are talking, but you can't see it. It's a gnome bug. But um, yeah, whether it's a gnome bug or not, let's see about finding ourselves another game. I'm actually enjoying the elimination side of artillery cruisers. A lot more tactical and a lot more in depth. Okay, so it's a good old team deathmatch on dry dock. Can't get more vanilla than that. And here we got in our team Carl Finster, tactical. Xerox Sama, Corvette. John something, Dreadnought. Delta Leader 63, Destroyer, Grim, Trilog in the Destroyer as well. And Game Boy in a Destroyer 2. Good. And looks like we have another artillery cruiser on the team. Navis. Good stuff. Have myself a wingman. Alright, let's see. All stations look alive. Got enemy contacts incoming. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. Okay, let's see what we can do here. And that is team deathmatch, so people do tend to respawn. We're locked on. Stasis warheads targeting the enemy ship. Hit him in the side. Come on. Once more before he disappears. Damn it. Stasis warheads got a lock, Captain. Launch Stasis warhead, I Captain. He's out of range. Let me see. Oh, and they've launched some sort of We're nuke. Getting out of here. Energy almost depleted. So there's something coming down. Crap. And just outside of this range. Well, that's good. Right now, if I can get my energy back, jump up. Oh, hello. Firing catapult. Rosette Zov. I'm not going to save you, but those bomb catapults are on their way. Dude, would you get out of the way? I'm trying to kill your friend. We've taken the lead, Captain. Stasis, Got him. See, hiding doesn't do anything Stasis for you. Just get you killed ship. sooner. That's a bit of knowledge there from horror movies, would you believe it or not? Once you hide, you're pretty much caught and dead at that point, so fight back. Maybe you'll survive. Also works for Dreadnought. Wouldn't you know? Okay, I'm gonna move around the side here. See if I've got any opportune shots. Whoop, until I'm actually angled correctly before I. Amplifying weapons, I. Contact got him. Just and there's another one. Nope, he didn't. Ah, okay, I counter sniped. At least they were paying attention, that's good. Situational awareness is the best friend of anyone who plays Dreadnought, or any game, to be fair. Always be knowledgeable of your surroundings. Oh, hello, friend. Do you want to play a game of tag, or. Are okay, you not that kind of guy, huh? Is that so? We're locked on. Bomb catapult going out to that cluster of destroyers. Hello. 
Yep, that's right. My guns hurt a lot more than yours do. Oh, he's trying to stealth away. Lucky for him. He's in a faster ship. The Nox class is pretty damn good. Artillery cruiser. Oh crap, missiles incoming. Come on, let's see if we can take him down before he takes us down. Come on. Good stuff. Right, dead maneuver engaged. Let's see if we can get over to one of our tacticals here. Ah, oh, look. The tactical is top of the board. Why have dignity when you can be a tactical? Alright. And I'm only joking before somebody takes that seriously. Ho <laughs> ho <laughs> Point defense is not going to save you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Tactical. I don't like your kind. Sorry to be spaceshipist, but it's true. Oh, hello, Mr. Knox. <laughs> oh, God, I love this ship. Sometimes. Ooh, double kill. Sweet. Thank you for healing me, Mr. Um, no Dignity. Much obliged. And Bomb Catapult is off cool in M5. It's a Christmas all over again. So why won't they let me launch my catapult? Dive maneuver, just in time. And he used evasive maneuvers, as you can see there, to avoid my bomb catapult. Well played. Why wouldn't it allow me to launch my bomb catapults? Was the arc too fine? Oh, they still hit him. Power to weapons. Oh, he's a nice little opportune shot. Good night indeed. Oh, got him when he was lowering himself. Well played, dude. Well played. But he was taken out inevitably as well, and I got the, the kill. Jump back in. Pretty, pretty nice game so far. I don't notice the enemy destroyers doing much of anything. They've also got three dreadnoughts that don't seem to be up to much. Not sure if uh, Chaos Lou just jumped in, but they need to be pushing a bit more instead of staying back and acting like an artillery piece because they're not. Like this fellow, what's his plan? In there, see what I mean? Come on. Power to weapons. That's him done. Teamwork. I knew me and our artillery cruiser were going to get along. Oh, he has armor up. We'll fire something up. Pointing Steven fire at him, so. Any other targets? No, it doesn't look to be. Let's wait for it to drop. Target down. Where is the other sniper? What's he called? Navis. I like you, Navis. Or Navis. Whatever your name is. You're a pretty damn cool guy. Oh, bugger. Why do they always deploy at such awkward angles? Form catapult away. Your death is inevitable and unavoidable when it comes to the bomb catapult. 
unless, of course, you avoid it. You know, move slightly out of the way. <laughs> oh, no. Where we go to here, wonder. Oh, that was close. Oh, the skills of this fella. Look at him. He's like that little um, space orb thing that Luke uses to train himself in the ways of the Force and the lightsaber aboard the Millennium Falcon. You know that little spear that shoots at him and back and forth? That's what he's like, look at him. Well, that's not him. But you know what I mean. He's dodging back and forth and all these evasive maneuvers and whatnot. The skills from that fella. Oh, bomb get a bolt is out. Oh, I love you, you sexy bomb. Get you. I'm going to keep moving forward just to beat him. Come on. He's... Go for the bait. He's dead. Or I assumed he would have been dead. He took shots from me, shots from an ally, and then bomb catapult, and he's still not dead. I wonder which one he is. You know what, let's stay low. If we're right beside him, when he uses that um, evasive maneuvers, then we'll be able to hit him more easily. In fact, let's slow down, reserve some energy, because then we could possibly two-shot him. And yeah, just to point out, the ship does still fire two shots. Per magazine or clip, or whatever you want to call it. Say hello to my little friend. Bye bye. Well, I'll say a little friend, but um, yeah, say hello to my massive friend. I know it's locked on. God damn it! <laughs> I'll just use it just to stop her from talking. Bomb catapult away. Come on. Ah, crap. Wasted. Who do you think you're pointing at, dude? Bugger off with yourself. Oh, dear, blast us. Did we get him once? No, come on, reload. Ah, all those Hades that counter snipes me. I like him. Catapults need a more opportune target. I'll go for him. He's closer to allies. Where are they? There they are. Going in. Where did that little tactical go? The little tactical that couldn't. Not close enough to him yet. Come on. Just a little bit closer. You know what? Let's go for this guy. He seems like an easier target, an easier kill. Because he's dirting about. Act don't hide, you're a destroyer. Grow some balls. Big jet metallic ballsicles. And was that him again? It was Hades. 13 kills. Hades got 10. He should have got more than me. He had some mad skills going on there with the evasive maneuvers. I can see evasive maneuvers being really, really nice on the um, Nox class of artillery cruiser. That was a very enjoyable game.
has it to tallied up the total XP yet? I don't know if it's finished. I don't know when it's finished. There we go. That must be it. That's right. Let's back to the hangar here. Let's get back to the hangar. Okay, here we are. Um, don't know, don't care. So here we are. The Ballista Tier 3 Jupiter Arms Sniper. Or Artillery Cruiser, if you want to be um, in all about it. But it's uh, that's not it. <laughs> it's a very nice little ship. Um, well, if, if you do have the correct loadout for it, I do think personally that Bomb Catapult is a lot better than the other two options. The other two options being the Siege Mode and Rapid Fire Mode. But anyway, if it's your type of ship, if you do like playing Artillery Cruisers, then by all means give it a shot. Just before I go, I want to leave you with a few words. Um, so the first one is that uh, at the moment, my total income comes from YouTube. So I'd like to thank all my current patrons. Their names are on screen right now. And I would like to kind of entice any more of you who want to become patrons. Uh, the rewards are going to be up soon on Patreon. What's there now are not the up-to-date ones. Uh, but yeah, I would really, really appreciate it. How little or however much you can give. It's greatly appreciated. If you can't, don't worry about it. But I also accept donations if you just want to give a one-time donation instead of a monthly recurring payment. Uh, and also, if you want to check out our Discord, where you can talk to me, play games with myself, or other like-minded players of Dreadnought Fractured Spacer, just people interested in a sci-fi uh, universe or environment, then you can do so there. The link is also below. Uh, but yes, I'd just like to thank you all very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Ballista down below. And enjoy whatever it is you're playing, whether it be in space or otherwise. And of course, like always, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Good day, loyal citizens of the Empire. Today, the Emperor has employed a system that will allow you to support the latest Imperial endeavors. Click the link below to support a safer and brighter future for every citizen of the Empire.